Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a how to look expensive on a budget. Kind of hate that title, which I'll get to in a second, but the reason that I thought I would do this video is because over on Instagram, if you don't follow me, it's at LNextdoor, one of my most popular or most frequent comments, apart from my mum every day being like, oh my god, I love you, you're the best, I'm your biggest fan! I love her so much, but she genuinely is my biggest fan. Love you, mum. One of my most frequent comments is, how do you make that Primark outfit look so expensive? Because if you follow me on Instagram, you will know, most probably, or you will see that I would say maybe like seven out of ten outfits are primarily Primark because I absolutely blimmin' love the place. So I thought I would do this video because I genuinely wholeheartedly believe that you do not need to have lots of money and you don't need to spend lots of money to look expensive and the reason that I hate that title is because I've never kind of wanted to look expensive but I guess I always want to look kind of put together and reasonably sophisticated, I mean I'm the least sophisticated person on the entire planet but I guess I always kind of want to look like generally well put together and chic and kind of effortless. I guess all of those things kind of look expensive and luxurious so let's get into the video. Okay my first tip is tailoring and more structured pieces. I personally am a huge huge fan of like boyfriend style fits and oversized jumpers and everything baggy maybe like paired with some like skinny jeans so it looks kind of cool but whenever I need to look a bit more luxurious and I'm, or I'm going to like an important meeting where I want to feel my best, I will always bring out my blazers or my nice shirts or just my structured pieces. I love a pair of like cigarette pants as well that fit really nicely. I just think that it immediately makes you look a little bit smarter and a little bit more sophisticated and it doesn't have to be expensive whatsoever. My favourite blazer is from Dorothy Perkins and I think that it was... $29.99 and it's just a black blazer it's like very straight and boxy and like kind of comes in a little bit at the waist if that makes sense I'm not sure probably doesn't haven't had 10 coffees today but I absolutely love blazers and tailored pieces and whenever I wear them I always feel very kind of chic and sophisticated and I think that it looks more expensive as well the good thing about a blazer for example is that you can go a bit casual everywhere else so if you have like a nice pair of cropped um, skinny jeans which I am loving Loving the Topshop Awesome jeans so so much right now. Um, you can also get away with like a very casual like stripy tee. I actually wore this outfit that I'm talking about and thinking of in my mind so I'll put a picture over the top and I wore my Baker Boy hat which if you watched my last video I was like I don't know if I could get away with this. I don't know if I did but I tried it and I wore it and I loved it. Um, but I loved that outfit so much because I just felt very kind of like Parisian chic and put together. So my first tip for looking kind of more expensive and not like a bin bag is tailoring. <laughs> my next tip would be to think about colour palettes. Now if you've even seen one of my hauls you'll know that I am all about the colour and if you follow me on Instagram it is basically a colourful explosion over there. But I do think that if you are maybe trying to refine your wardrobe a little bit or you need kind of quick fixes a nice neutral colour palette always works best and let's be honest all black everything is always an absolute classic that you can go back to. There's just something about neutrals whether it's like a cream or a nice camel, I love camel, khaki I'm really obsessed with, I actually love navy as well and it's such a nice alternative to black if you're not into like extremely dark colours but there's something really kind of luxurious and sophisticated about just a neutral colour palette. However having said that because I'm a big fan of colour and I would not be being me if I was doing this video and didn't mention colour. I also think that a pop of colour can look absolutely incredible as well. So it kind of depends on how much you love colour. For me, I am happy to wear a bright pink jumper and then maybe um, some plain denim and maybe a black blazer or a black leather jacket over the top and some nice neutral boots or shoes on the bottom. So you just have quite a neutral outfit overall and then a pop of colour in the middle or wherever you want to do it. Or if you're kind of nervous about colour, an easy way to inject some colour into your your wardrobe or into yourself is by lips. I'm all about the lipsticks. I have all the lips in the world. I could rival Jay-Z. So for me, if I'm like feeling a bit drab or down, the first thing that I do is whack out um, a bright red lipstick. I do love bright pink as well, probably my favourite, but in terms of looking kind of expensive and classic as well, you cannot be a classic like pillow box, pillow box, telephone box, pillow box. You know what I mean. A classic, classic red always, always looks incredible. If I've got crumbs on my mouth or on my face, which is not really going along the lines of how to look luxurious and expensive, that is because I just had a quick coffee and a digestive biscuit break. 
don't judge me. In fact, judge away. Sorry, not sorry. Next it would be to be careful with prints. Now, I love a good print and actually something that's going to pain me to say because I love leopard print, but <laughs> I think it's very hard. Itchy nose, really sorry, not picking it. I think it's really hard to make leopard print look classy and luxurious. In general, be careful with prints. A classic stripe is your absolute go-to, like you cannot go wrong with a stripe. I love a Breton tee or a long sleeve top so, so much. And I also quite enjoy a bit of polka dot here and there, but I think generally leopard print and maybe zebra print, I have two pairs of boots that are both of those and they are some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. But if I want to look a little bit kind of classier and a bit more chic and less kind of cool, then I won't be wearing those. But unless your style icon is Cat Slater and you want to go all leopard print, you do you, I am not judging, all for that, then I would say generally be careful of prints and go for a more classic print. Kind of like rounding up a lot of my points of what I just said is kind of sticking to your basics. I did a capsule wardrobe video and to be totally honest with you, whenever I'm in a rush or whenever I need or want to look a bit more like classy and sophisticated, if I'm going to an important meeting, if I'm going on a date. Oh my god, my dating life is such a joke, honestly, that is a whole video in itself. But if I want to look a bit more put together, then I will just go straight back to my capsule wardrobe. Kind of the classics that you can rely on, that are timeless, that never go out of style, those are the things that you should stick with. This is a super basic tip, but actually something that I find really difficult, and that's look after the clothes that you have. So make sure that they're ironed before you go out, which again, I am the worst example of this because I hate ironing with an absolute passion. Like I am one of those people that will just whack it on a rail and be like, please drop out, please drop out. There's nothing worse than maybe wearing something expensive actually and it being creased and looking really kind of crabby and like it hasn't been washed or it's been like scrunched at the bottom of your wardrobe. In my case, it probably has um, for a million years. So just kind of looking after the clothes you have also I'm about to sound like a washing machine advert, but keeping your whites white. What is that advert with the really annoying theme tune? Oh no, I'm thinking of Sill It Bang. Bang and the dirt is gone. That is not keeping your whites white. Back to the tips. Before I start singing to you even more, generally just looking after your clothes. What is wrong with me today? My next tip might not apply to all of you, but it is to invest in one classic piece if you can, if you want to, if your budget allows you to, you definitely don't need to, but a lot of people say to me, I've kind of saved up and I have money to spend, what should I buy? Which I find the most difficult question because I'm like, oh my God, don't ask me, like I am the least decisive person in the world and I struggle to pick things myself. But for me personally, I don't own many designer pieces at all. I bought a bag last year, which is the Gucci, can't say the word, it's something like Matalassa Marmont bag or Gucci Marmont Matalassa, I don't know. And I have generally worn it, I would say 95% of the time after that. Like, I, it's my everyday bag. I wear it on a daily basis. Everyone was like, you've bought this incredibly expensive bag and you're wearing it like just to go to the shops and do everything. And I was like, yes, if I'm gonna spend that much money on a bag, I'm gonna wear it every day for the rest of my life. But I love that bag so much. And I got the black um, and the, it's the gold hardware and it is, so classic and it goes with basically everything in my wardrobe. So I think if you have the money to spend, investing in something very classic. So for me, it would personally be a handbag. I think designer shoes look incredible, but I just think there are so many places on the high street as well. Like a pair of Valentino rock studs have always been in the back of my mind, but then I go into Primark and find a pair that are so comfortable and look incredible. And I'm like, buy Felicia to the Valentino rock studs and hello, seven pound Primark heels that look incredible. Um, but with a handbag, I think you can just kind of generally tell that it looks a little bit more expensive. Also, if your budget doesn't allow for a handbag, something entry level like maybe a pair of sunglasses or maybe a pair of nice flats or a belt is also a really good option as well. My next tip is to keep your eye out for the sales and to visit like designer outlets. I bought a Marge coat at Bista last year. I was very lucky to be taken there by Bista and they gave us a £100 voucher and also at that time the stores had 40% off and I got the most, oh my god I love it so much, even thinking about it now makes me happy and it is nearly Marge coat weather, yay! But I bought this Marge coat which I think originally was maybe like £500 and it had come down in price anyway because I think it was like 
a season or two seasons old but it's such a classic like teddy bear coat um, and I'm so 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 obsessed with it so it came down to I think with my £100 off voucher I got it for £112 but for a beautiful designer coat that will honestly last you forever and I wore it all of last year like all winter long so definitely if you can visit the outlet stores this that I absolutely love and they always have some incredible pieces you do have to hunt a little bit more but it's worth it if you can find something like that my next tip would be to go to places like Primark for the basics that no one really sees so I don't know if you could hear that but that was definitely my stomach rumbling time for another digestive or maybe a hobnob actually I've got gluten-free hobnobs downstairs yay what was I saying um yes I did go and get a hobnob I think that <laughs> I think that I was saying go to the much less expensive stores like Primark or a H&M or I actually really like Matalan as well for the pieces that no one really sees so I get all of my underwear from Primark because it's such good value it actually lasts really well as well also for things like plain v-neck tees H&M are incredible Zara are incredible so I think where you can save money on the things that don't matter so much and that people would never really notice tip number i have absolutely no idea because i didn't count because i wasn't that organized would be keep jewelry simple um i'm not like i do love jewelry but i'm not like a huge i won't be wearing like massive earrings and lots of rings and necklaces and bracelets and absolutely everything i like to kind of keep it a little bit more simple i do have these bracelets both are from monica vinida this one is definitely not a classic and you know if you're looking to spend money i would definitely go for something a little bit more elegant and timeless this is one of the monica vinada vinida or vinada no idea i basically pronounce everything wrong anyway um this is one of their signature bracelets and i've had it for since my birthday in november i think um so nearly a year now and it still looks amazing i've worn it every single day since the only thing that i would say is it sets the alarms off in airports every single time so I always take it off but i absolutely love it and think it always looks classic and then the other piece that i absolutely adore is this necklace which gets so many compliments and questions as well on YouTube about what it is and it's just this um, Lucy Williams by Masoma. Masoma is one of my favourite brands ever um, and it's one of their like little fang choker necklaces which strangely obviously isn't that classic. You know fangs aren't the most classic style and the kind of choker necklace has been a bit of a more recent trend but I know that I will wear this for such a long time because I feel like it's so delicate and dainty that it won't really go out of style so I adore that and then I always just have like little tiny little loop earrings in i don't tend to change that up that much but pearl earrings i always think look so elegant and so classy so i think simple jewelry pieces that don't take away from any outfit but kind of add a nice little subtle addition add an addition add a little something to your outfit my next tip would be to think about hair and makeup and i feel like i'm a very bad example of this but i am so bad i hate washing my hair so much i hate styling my hair so i leave it as long as i possibly can but i think kind of keeping your hair looking fresh and also i need a massive chop it's got so long and i also need my roots doing so i think i am the worst example but kind of keeping those things up to date and fresh always makes you look a little bit more expensive and a little bit more put together as well that's the main thing put together and I think in terms of makeup for me my makeup I'm the most boring human on the planet and I always kind of have a very sort of neutral matte eye I always have a flick which does look like a dog has done it and I always kind of have things very very neutral and then either a nudie pink lip or a bright red um, so I think that that always helps as well kind of helping you feel put together nails as well are one thing that I find super important I think that a classic red or most importantly like a classic nude will always look very elegant and that is the end of my video I think I've got my notes down here and I think that I've covered everything really really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you um, I just get so many comments on Instagram um, I have a lot of students that follow me and will say like oh I love um, maybe my Gucci bag but it's so expensive or I'm so happy that you feature a lot of Primark I get a lot of comments on YouTube saying thank you for featuring much more affordable people Pieces. Um, so I just thought that this would be the kind of perfect video for me to make this is just to say that you absolutely do not need to spend a lot of money to look luxurious and expensive you absolutely can do it on a budget so I hope it was helpful I hope you enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new it would make my day I'm posting two videos a week over here at the moment but if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing 
every day for the rest of time not for the rest of the time that would just be strange and I'm sure you don't want to do that but if you want to keep up to date with me I post on Instagram every day numerous times a day so that's at L next door and I'll link that up below but yes I really really hope you enjoyed the video have the most incredible Sunday and I'll see you all soon bye